Hi folks and welcome to another edition of Apps for Success. As always, I am your host, John Bowman, and in each episode of Apps for Success, we take a look at a different software or app and how it can help you in your customer success efforts. This month, we're going to be talking about Video Ask. That's right, you've probably never heard of it. Video Ask. Now this is from the folks who brought you Typeform. If you're familiar with Typeform, it's basically like a Google Form, but it's just more beautiful. But the whole conceit behind Video Ask is it's like filling out a form, but instead of just having words there, you can have an interactive video. And you're gonna see a lot better customer interaction with it because of that video. One great use case for this is for your MPS. I really think Video Ask is a cool and new tool, and I'm excited to show it to you. Now before we get to the app though, I have a joke for you, like always. What do you call it when a police officer pulls over a U-Haul van? No guesses. Busting a move. <laughs> On to the app, folks. <laughs> Here we are, folks. Video Ask. Okay, just go to videoask.com. In fact, let's show you what the landing page looks like. My apologies. Videoask.com. Again, this is by Typeform. Some of you may know what Typeform is like. Others may not. That's okay. And this here on the left is exactly how you're gonna interact with your customers using Video Ask. So I'm just gonna play it to show you what the end product's gonna look like. Hey, this is Sarah with Acme Inc. and we're looking for some feedback so that we can improve the service we provide to our customers. So on a scale from zero to 10, how likely are you to recommend Acme Inc. to a friend or colleague? That's great to hear. Can you tell us why you chose that score? Did you see how I did that? I selected 10 and what I can then get is a video response from them and get an audio response or a text response. Let's hit the video option. Just gonna allow. Here we are. Well, I really like the idea of Video MPS. It really, really is awesome. Well, I really like the idea of Video MPS. It really, really is awesome. Thank you so much for your feedback. We may be interested in following up to learn more about what you think. Would you be open to receiving a video response from us? If so, please include your contact information on the following page. Do you see that folks? That is the end product and that's why I just had to show you this. This is such a cool and awesome way to ask for your MPS from your customers. Now, just so we're clear, this video is not actually going to be talking about MPS specifically, uh, only because in order to do it at Typeform or if we only only do it at Video Ask, it does cost you 30 bucks a month if you pay monthly in order to get that MPS feature here. So there is a free tier. It is one of my, you know, it's one of the, in order for me to have, say that something's one of my favorite apps, it does have to be free. It's nice, there's a 20 minute, you know, video for audio processing and you can use those videos for asking questions, but we'll go over that. But if you want that MPS experience I just showed you, it's only $30 a month. That's not crazy in my opinion, right? You could also do branding for $50 a month or if you pay yearly, obviously, they incentivize you better. But let's get a little bit more into the, the meat and potatoes of the app. So this is Video Ask, and then I've already uh, logged in here, and they've got a really great onboarding stream here. It's very, very intuitive. You can hit play, and obviously you can watch the this video. This is Video Ask. Exactly what's happening, etc. Uh, but we're just gonna take you through how kind of easy and fun this is. If you click the Create, it'll say, do you wanna upload a video from your webcam or from your library? Just gonna do a little webcam here so that you can see how this all works. Hey, there we go. Um, one, you can start recording, but one thing I love about this is before you record, you can actually add notes to the screen, which are like, John forgets his notes and needs words to help him speak. You can add that in there, after which you just hit the record option and you'll notice the notes stay on the screen. So at the top of the screen, so it looks like I'm looking directly at the webcam and it says, John forgets his notes and he needs words to help him speak. I have a two minute duration here. Stay on the screen. I so at the stop. top of the screen, so it looks like I'm looking directly at the webcam and it's... After I've stopped it, I can save it. Okay. 
Sorry about that. <laughs> it keeps on repeating again and again. But the idea there is that you can see how quickly it was to make that video, right? And if I like, I can just add text on top so I can put words on top of my name, right? Like words or I made this video for you. I cannot top today for type today, folks. I'm sorry. There you go. So you can add word, the words up here at the top of the screen. You can darken it for readability really easily. You can also fit it to a video, right? If you want to have that. We're going to go here to the next step. Now you can say, how do you want people to answer, right? You can create multiple choice. So we can say, you know, this is the first choice. This is the second choice. This is the third choice. You can add it as many as you want. You can say select multiples, fine. You can even skip the data collection if they don't want to do it. Multiple choice is pretty darn easy. We've also got a calendar option, right? If you have a Calendly setting and you've also got HubSpot or Acuity, these things are all integrated with this. So if you wanna start setting meetings with folks, you can have a little video so they can get a taste of your personality before you guys meet. Remember too, you can always do an open, right? So you can say you wanna do a video response, an audio response, or a text response. This is exactly what I showed you guys when I first started with that end product, right? Video length. So again, you can increase the length that people have more than two minutes as well for it. And the final option we'll get into here is again, just straight up MPS, but alas, again, we will have to pay in order to do that. And I'm not gonna pay the money in order to do it, unfortunately. Because I feel like you've got a really great understanding of how this works just from looking at the end product I showed you earlier. So I can name this, right? Once I name it, it's just gonna be, uh, you know, first ask. Once I name it, obviously we do want to collect people's details and these will be just like a type form, right? Name, email, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you can have your own personal branding or you can say no branding, but if you do that, again, it's going to upgrade for you. And there we are. We can upload and create it. Voila, folks. So now what I've got is I've got my first video. I can always adjust my settings, connect my favorite tools and add more potential steps to it. If you're familiar with type form, you can have branches. So you can say if a person answers this way, go to the next step. If not, for example, here's another step, right? After you do that one video, you can move on to the next one. Or, you know, I might want to adjust the settings that I have on this. Remember, we saw the different colors. You can change those as well, to whatever your branding colors will be. If we scroll down here, you can have live recordings. So again, these will allow you to have live recordings and uploads whenever people are talking to you. Um, and you can make your answer shareable. I also really like that it does allow for a better mobile experience as well to get those MPS responses. The final thing I just wanted to go over here is again, how you can share it. So you can click share here, right? And then again, you can just share the URL. That's always an easy thing, just embedded inside an email ask that you send. You can do it via email, right? You, they'll allow you to send it directly from here. You can create a widget, which is kind of cool because you can put it on your website and you can ask a question there. Again, this isn't just an NPS type scenario, but this is literally anytime you wanna ask somebody an NPS, then you can specifically embed it into your website, right? So you can say it's a large thing. Now, you, if you're in customer success, chances are maybe you're not doing this, but maybe you are, it's not a problem. Again, you can just copy code and upload it. But video ask is great because again, you can ask questions with video instead of with text. And we all know that video gets a lot more responses than regular text. So imagine you open up an email, it's got a nice video just like this that I shared for you. Uh, and again, and it is like, hey, you know, ask the MPS question, how likely are you to recommend us to your friends or colleagues? And then you can just click the number and get exactly what you want. So folks, that's video ask. I hope you like it, I hope you use it. Uh, I'd love to see this spring up around the web a little bit more, because I think it's a really, darn cool tool and I hope you like it. As always folks, thank you for watching. That's the end of our episode this month and I can't wait to talk to you next month and I hope you're staying safe and cool. Bye-bye now.